Hey guys, Ricardo Gardner here from Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, today I have another tech tutorial for you guys. All right. So this is for those, especially if you're new to the um, iPhone 11, or of course, you're new to iPhones in general, and it's how to go back on the iPhone. Now, of course, there are several scenarios in which you would want to go back. But of course, there's more than one way to do this. Let me show you the basic way. All right. So let's say, for example, you went into a menu such as I tapped on settings, which is a common menu to get into. Let's say, for example, I went into general. Now, of course, how to go back. Now, one of the easiest ways to go back is to look always at the upper section of the screen. So let me see if I can lock onto that. And once you're looking at the upper section of the screen, you should notice there is an option that will always appear that shows the previous menu, which is settings. So go ahead and tap it and you'll go back. And of course, once you do that, um, you'll be brought back to the main menu. And of course, if you're stuck and you're not seeing additional options, you can always swipe um, up from the bottom of the screen to return home. All right. So it's as simple as that. It doesn't matter how many menus deep you go. It will still work the same. So notice this here. You can go back to settings there. And of course, I can go in deeper by selecting even more settings as you're seeing here. So I could go into software update. It's checking. But of course, if I want to go back, I could tap there, tap again and go back. All right. Now, let's say, for example, you're unable to do that. The other way you can actually do this, let's say, for example, I'm one menu deep in settings on a general. If I want to go back, all you got to do is swipe to the left of the screen. So find a blank space and simply swipe. Notice that it's a simple gesture, simply swipe and it will move um, to the uh, previous menu. And of course, this works in several menus other than even settings you'll find that you can actually swipe back and you'll go back one step. Let's check this out in the web browser right now. All right, let's try this in the web browser. So again, it's the same principle with the web browser. If you launch, you'll notice that we are here. But of course, if I do a search, let's say for example, I go um, to a website such as my website. I search blog tech tips um, as you can see your blog tech tips um, does come up but of course um, let's say for example I launch the website if I want it to go back in browsers is usually the same if the option is not at the top of the screen here you can look down here as this is for this specific app you can actually hit back and you'll go right back and again if you wanted to you could hit back so for some um, apps, they do change the bar, but most of the times it's at the top here, especially as it relates to um, inbound apps right here. Um, I'll try to show you another one. So for example here, notice I can go into the Play Store. I could just simply search. I could go and select the app, but notice when I need to go back, it does appear up here at the top. So when it's iOS design, there's usually the back option. And of course, this would apply here. You can swipe and it does go back as well. So the swipe back, as long as it's a iOS based um, feature, it should work to swipe back or hit the back option. And for Safari and other apps, they sometimes place that the base here. All right. So you know how to go back under several conditions. All right, guys. As usual, it's Ricardo Gardner from Block Tech Tips saying bye until next time, guys. Bye.